Hi everybody, so today's video is going to be a double first sniff and the reason I'm calling it a double first sniff is it's because I'm hauling two vendors that um, I got very small amounts from but that I've never tried before. The first one being Scoopable Tart Wax. So, Scoopable Tart Wax is owned by Jenny's Oaks Mother from Rose Girls and I'm not sure of like the history but I think it was her mom, and her name is Kathy, by the way, her mom who first was doing the wax stuff, then she retired for a while. I think Jenny kind of took over with the whole Rose Girls branding, um, and Jenny specialized more in, like, um, you know, cuttable wax versus scoopable wax. But then Kathy came back, and now um, it's nice because... In my opinion, I think Scoopable Tart Wax is very popular, but I don't think it's quite as popular as Rose Girls because people just don't gravitate toward Scoopable Wax. I know there are diehards who love it, but I follow quite a few people who don't really like Scoopable Wax, myself included. Um, so, you know, if I can find a scent that... Um, in like regular cuttable wax, I'm going to do that versus getting a scoopable. However, the great thing about scoopable tart wax that I found is there's quite a few scents that, um, you know, maybe Jenny doesn't offer regularly or, um, you know, they own, they're very seasonal. And I have found, at least in my own experience with scoopable tart wax, it's a lot easier to get those scents from um, Kathy in the sense that you like, uh, granted, they will be scoopable, but, you know, that's the name of the game. But she also um, does pour solid wax from time to time. And she just, I think the pre-order ended for them. Was it a pre-order or was it a ready to ship? I think it was a pre-order. But she was making the pies. Those super popular pies that um, Rose Girls used to have all the time. They don't have them or, you know, offer them often anymore. But she was, like, making pies in, like, circus concession. Which is, like, what? You can never really find circus concession in a large amount like that. So, um, it's just nice that you can kind of... All their scents are kind of in the same you know, they're the same. So if you can't find one with Rose Girls, it's highly likely you'll find it with, um, Scoopable Tart Wax and vice versa. Um, so let's get started here. Also today is the 4th of July. Happy 4th. Um, so if you hear stuff going off in the background, that is why. Um, I did receive a sample, um, all right, so the sample I received is Root Beer Cookie Crunch. This is Vanilla Crunch Donuts, Root Beer, and Monster Cookie. Amazing. You most definitely have to like root beer, but it smells so good. I mean, it smells like a root beer bakery. It almost is like a... It's kind of odd, but in a good way. But that's because I absolutely love root beer, so I can't wait to melt that. Um, are these scoopables or are these... I can't tell if this is a scent shot or a scoopable. I think it's an actual scoopable sample. The, um, the lid was cracked, so I went ahead and put it in a little sack here. But that is that. And then I got four... Scoopable melt. So this first one I got here um, is in this different shape and it was on sale. This is salted caramel coffee, salted caramel blended with coffee and pie crust. That sounded amazing to me. Um, that's what they look like. Uh, and I haven't tried any of her so I obviously don't know what the consistency is like or anything. This does smell amazing though. A really sweet coffee but... Um, that coffee note is very strong. So, yeah. That's going to be a good coffee scent. Um, then I got Sleepy Hollow. This is Cider Lane Cider Donut and Pretzel. And these are the regular size. The typical size that you will find on her site. Um, this size, I'm not sure if she just did this. Maybe they were out of these or something. But um, that one was on sale. This is amazing. 
I can't get enough of Cider Lane. Cider Lane is just so good. You get the cider donut. I'm not getting too much pretzel. I would imagine it's probably not going to add much. It's just going to kind of mellow out like the strength of Cider Lane. So that's that one. Next one is Luke's Diner. This is Absolute Coffee, Pancakes, Pumpkin Pecan Waffles, and Vanilla Crunch Donuts. Another really good coffee blend. <sighs> really, really like that. Just another sweet coffee. You guys know I love sweet coffee. Then the last scoop I got is Cupcakes at Tiffany's um, and Baked Zucchini Bread. So... It's literally what it says there. And this is nice. Um, you get both equally to me. So when you initially smell it, the cupcakes at Tiffany's, the sweetness of that kind of hits you in the face. But then you get that kind of like, I can't, can't say aftertaste because I'm not eating it. But you know what I mean? That after smell, I guess, of the zucchini bread. That's kind of helping to... Um, you know, soften the sweetness and, and put a little bit more of a, of a, um, stronger bakery bread note into that. So that is what I got from Scoopable Tart Wax. The next vendor, um, that I'm a doing a first sniff for is, um, H2 Wax Co. So this is the branding here. I don't even know how I found out about this company, but... Maybe it was in Wax Chat or something. Apparently, this vendor is super well known for their strawberry pound cake blends. Like, she will literally do a pre-order strictly for strawberry pound cake blends. That is how good um, her strawberry pound cake is. Um, I purchased um, during a sell. I think it was like a birthday sell she was having. And, um, yeah. So, as you can see from here, she has the month and year for her pour date and you don't see that often usually when people do put the pour date on there it's very specific to the day um, but I definitely appreciate the month and the year because to be honest it's really all you need to know um, and it's probably much easier for her one thing I will say right off the bat is that I don't like these bags um, these little like bricks come in they're the fold over bags I don't know how much more expensive it is for vendors to get the kind of zip top bags but they are so much better for storing um these items I am probably gonna just melt pretty quick because I don't want to like use a bunch of bags trying to um store them but the issue is, it's not that they're not secure. They are secure. But if you're someone who maybe you don't melt um, all your wax at one time, or you go in and out of it a lot, um, a lot of us like to just go sniff our wax, this becomes very, um, like the stickiness of it wears off, and then, you know, they don't stay closed properly all the time. So I don't enjoy that, but... Um, Let's see. I really thought I had more from her. And I thought I had a sample. But this stuff has been sitting for so long that it is quite possible that something got mixed and put away somewhere when it shouldn't have. So this first one I'm going to show you because I've already melted some of it. This is cream soda pound cake. I absolutely love cream soda. I love pound cake. And this threw really well for me. Um, again, this is the only scent I've tried from this vendor thus far, but it's very pretty. You get cream soda and pound cake, but you also get the fizziness. So it's definitely a soda scent. It's really interesting. It smells amazing. And I think, where did I melt this? I think I melted this in my halogen bulb warmer that has like I hate admitting it on, on, you know, video because I don't want anyone to yell at me, but it has like a 50 watt bulb in it, but it throws so dang well. And this threw so dang well in it. So I really love that scent. I would absolutely repurchase that. Um, I also got this scent in white gentlemen's club or white's gentlemen's club. Honestly, when I ordered this, I had to take a double take. <laughs> I can't remember what all is in here. I'm sorry, you guys, for not writing down the scent notes but 
such is life. Um, but this smells really good. I smell like a sweetness, almost like a tobacco vanilla that's very strong on the tobacco. And then just like a, uh, it's kind of like a, a sweet cologne, if that makes sense. Like the notes in this aren't super sharp, like you normally get from um, a, a more masculine scent. So I like that. Next one I have here is Mango Coconut Milk Smoothie. These are also really noisy when you open them, so sorry. <laughs> this is really nice. I really like her mango. Sometimes mango can be a little bit too tart or almost give off the um, cat pee vibe like peach does from time to time. This one doesn't. It's very sweet. Almost body care-esque versus, versus like authentic mango. And it's also really creamy. Then we have French Toast Crispy Treat. So this is clearly... Rice Krispie Treats blended with French toast. Smells amazing. Very vanilla-y. It almost, you can almost smell like the eggy cinnamon nutmeg mixture that you dip French toast in. Oh, man. That one's really, really good. Then I got two shapes. The first one is blueberry cream cake and this big heart. And yeah, it's a creamy blueberry scent. I'm not getting too much of a cake note. And this is a really odd blueberry. Like it really smells different than any other blueberry I've smelled before. And I... Not in a good way. <laughs> I don't know. We'll have to see when I melt that, what that is like. And then finally, I have here, um, this is Strawberry Candy Floss Puff. And I think this might have the strawberry pound cake in it, but I can't remember for sure. It's very strong. This strawberry does not smell artificial to me. I do really like it. It's really sweet. It does smell very candy-ish. I think I'm going to enjoy that. And that is it, guys. That is my double first sniff for you. Um, I don't know. I have one more first sniff to do that is all its own. I don't know if I'm going to get to that tonight. So if I don't, hope you have a happy fourth. And um, yeah, I'll be seeing you soon. Give a thumbs up if um, you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you like. And I'll see you next time. Bye.